Oh, okay, well, uh, as you can see, we got doors on here now. I um, tried to record it yesterday as I was putting them on, but I ran out of space on my uh, on my Droid Mini. So anyway, we got the doors on. Uh, there is uh, shortness between the two doors. So as you can see here, I put uh, this piece right here in the middle, and uh, so that it could. So that it uh, will uh, not be a complete opening right here, and it works out pretty good. Uh, I got a stopper right here and a stopper on the bottom, which I don't I doubt you can see, and uh, works pretty good. So what I'm going to do now uh, is uh, well, let me go ahead and say this: the the sides. I goofed up. I'm so used to cutting the wood myself, and so whenever I um, started this project yesterday, I uh, did my my floor, and I used one of my six foot pieces whenever I did my floor. So I put two two by fours on each side and one in the middle. Brought that on in inside the building, and then that's whenever I realized, hold it, it's too long. So then I took it outside and I cut it. Well, I had all this stuff pre-cut from Lowe's. So I went in yonder with my numbers and told the guy how I wanted everything done. So I went up there and I cut one of, one of my pre-cut six foots to do the floor. And then I was like, well, I need another four foot. So let me grab a hold of this other six foot. So I cut it for the top. So I I actually cut two of my pre-cut six foot sides. So uh, I'm not sure if you can actually see it uh, here, <clears throat> but you can see where the two pieces are put together here and over here. So if you have your wood pre-cut, don't cut it, leave it alone. <laughs> so, but anyway, the shelves are going to be 21 inches deep. And so it's from the edge here is 23 inches. And so the shelves are going to be 21 inches. So the shelves are going to come all the way back to the back and the shelves are going to end about an inch before it hits here. And the reason why I did that is that I want to use the door on each side to put uh, wrenches and stuff like that that will actually fit on the doors to where whenever I shut it, they won't hit up against the shelves. A lot of noise outside. And so, um, but that's the reason why I did it that way. And uh, all of the shelves I had pre-cut. On the bottom, I took my two by four footers and I pulled them out to where they're actually sticking out of the, the, the sides of the floor of the, um, the closet to where I could actually sit the sides down on it uh, instead of actually sitting them down on the floor itself. I've got an exact four foot here. I just don't have, which I really wanted, was the, um, the six foot height. But instead, about an inch and a quarter shy, from having my six foot height. I bought some of these, which are uh, exactly what size these are. I think these are half inch by one inch, maybe. These are actually one by twos. Uh, I'm not really sure why they're called one by twos, but anyway, they are one by two. And I think they were one by two by eights, I believe. Anyway, what these are going to be used for is that I'm going to cut each one of these down to 21 inches. And I'm going to do 10 of them at 21 inches here. And then I'm going to do um, 21 inches for the back. So I'm going to do uh, 5 for each side and then 5 for here. So I'm going to need 15 pieces of 21 inch. And so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. These right here is going to be what our shelves are going to set on. And so, yep, let's go ahead and get it started. Oops. 
and I were putting in ourselves. And they all they all went in great. Uh, it looks like it's crooked, but that's actually the way that the camera's set, and the camera's sort of kind of sitting a little bit offset. So it looks like uh, the uh, storage closet is crooked, but actually it's not. And uh, I just went out to cut me a uh, piece right here, which is going to hold up the bottom shelf. And then I create, I, I cut a piece for each one of the centers to make it more sturdy. And uh, that way it holds up each one of the shelves. All right, well, I've got it built. Uh, I got all my shelves put in. And uh, actually I've got to put some screws in the back of each one of them. The, uh, them two have already screwed in from the, the back. I've got a screw here. And then I've got my, my post here in the middle. That way everything is nice and steady. Let's go ahead and put one here. Okay, the bottom is actually 19 inches. This one right here is almost 16 inches. This one's almost 14. And this one's right at 10. And then we got our top one here, which is about 10 and an eight. So I mean, this right here should give me enough room. Uh, this one right here is gonna be for my, my tools. So it's gonna be sitting right here. Uh, my tool bin that is. I've got a Craftsman tool bin. So that's going to sit here. It's actually the only case that I've actually got. Move this out of the way. And, um, but, uh, yeah, the, the Craftsman tool case is going to sit right here. That's the reason why I made this one the height that I did. And, uh, so, uh, my chargers and everything, I mean, it's, it's, I'm happy with it. So the total cost for building this, it's about $88, $89 total. It was $94. Like I said, I've got to take back some screws so I get the money back from that. So it'll bring it to about $89. That's how much it costs to build a one, two, three, four, five shelf, four by six, almost six foot, uh, storage closet uh so i mean yeah it's just a matter of getting in here and getting everything organized and that's what i'm getting ready to do now since it's all done there you go uh i'm gonna have uh down below and uh i'll have the information on all the measurements and everything if anybody decides that they want to go in and try to build one of these as well um so but anyway uh wayne baron here with my vlog and uh my storage storage closet for uh, my storage building slash studio place so maybe uh, by the day I should be able to walk through this place because right now it is a total disaster area so thanks a lot for watching y'all have a good one now bye bye